Hello and welcome to Witchcraft. So today I'll be showing you how to make a mushroom fairy circle. And I chose to make mine small enough to fit inside of a cloche, which is this glass dome on top of a base. You don't have to do that, but it looks a lot cooler if you do. I'll also be showing you how to use a static grass applicator, which is very simple. I love to use it for dioramas and miniatures, and I hope it's a tool that you come to love and use if you're a miniaturist or diorama creator yourself, and you don't use one, I don't know why, <laughs> you really should. So with all that said, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is make a cardboard circle that will fit inside the cloche. I'm using a compass and I'm measuring it to the inner circle of the base and then taking that measurement to cardboard and recreating that same size circle. Now I'm using polymer clay to create the base for the terrain and I'm going to make it a bit lumpy so it looks more realistic. I broke up a couple of toothpicks and inserted the little pieces into the clay base. These are going to hold the stems of my mushrooms in place while they're baking in the oven. I'm not gonna attach the caps of the mushrooms until near the end of this project because it'll be easier to paint them as separate pieces. Once I was happy with the overall shape of everything, I baked it in the oven and I let it cool completely. Next, I painted the base a dark brown to simulate soil. And I know it looks like some kind of terrifying cookie right now, but just stay with me, it's worth it, I promise. After the brown paint dried, I touched up the stems with white paint and put some little light brown dots on them to give them some character. I wanted to have some different textures happening, so I decided to glue some green ground cover in a few spots to look like some small plants or moss. Thank you. 
Now for the static grass. I'm using a device called the Static King, and it's a static grass applicator. First, make sure it's turned off. We don't need any accidents happening. Then, on the base, there's a small flap to insert a battery. Just clip the battery in and tuck it back into that little compartment. There's a few different size screens that you can use depending on how tall your static grass is. The one on the applicator is a small mesh. There's one that is split in half to be small and medium. And then there's also a large mesh screen. So take your little screwdriver and take the screen off. I'm gonna use the split screen because I wanna blend two different colors of grass for a more realistic look. There's a small lip for the divider to rest in, and then you can put the screen back on and screw it into place. I'm using a dark green grass and a kind of burnt grass, so I dump a little in one side, turn it around, and dump the other color in the other side. It doesn't have to be perfectly even, but try to get it as close as you can, and a little bit goes a long way for a small project like this. To create the static, there's this cable with a clip on one end and a plug on the other. Put the plug into the hole in the applicator and then put the clip onto the arm of this weird metal thingy. I don't know the name of it, I just call it the metal thingy. I haven't tried it, nor am I going to, but I'm pretty sure you'll zap yourself if you touch the metal thing while the device is on, so try to avoid that. I'm gonna show you how this works on a piece of cardboard, so that way you can see the coverage easily. Lay down a thick amount of white glue or tacky glue anywhere that you want grass. Then put at least two feet of the metal thingy into your glue to make sure you get a strong current. Turn on your applicator and shake it back and forth over the wet glue. Feel free to go absolutely crazy. Turn off the device and remove the metal thing so you can tap and shake off the extra grass. You can see the blend of the colors is really smooth and the grass is spaced evenly and it looks really thick. The grass is a bit short so it's hard to see, but it is sticking pretty much straight up. And if you touch it, it feels like someone who just got a fresh buzz cut. Now let's compare that to a regular grass shaker without static. Load it up with glue and shake away. The non-static grass is much less dense, and I know it's a bit hard to see with it being so short, but it's not sticking straight up, it's kind of clumpy. In hindsight, I should have used a taller grass to show the difference, but I will do so in the other video for this month, which will also involve static grass. Now it's time to add some static grass to the actual project. Because the base is lumpy, make sure the feet are actually touching it and not just floating. 
And while the glue is wet, you can do several coats of grass for a really, really thick and lush look. I've got this yellow grass that I cut up into small pieces and I just glued it in clumps in random spots to add some more variety and fill in some of the gaps between the green ground cover that I applied earlier. Now I'm gonna do a second coat of static grass while the glue is still wet, and I'm mixing in a little light green grass as well. And since this is all blended together, I no longer need the divider in the applicator, so I'm switching to the smaller mesh screen. Now, while I'm waiting for the glue to dry on that, I'll finish painting my mushroom caps. After the paint was dry, I used some E6000 glue to stick them onto the stems. I let the glue dry just a little bit so it was a bit more tacky. This one cap in particular wasn't having it, so I had to bust out the hot glue gun for it. <laughs> 